Praise the Lord. God bless you, everybody. I would like to share a short message with you today. I was reading in my Bible the report of the children of Israel getting to the promised land. You know, they journeyed through the wilderness and they approached the promised land. And all the while, uh, after Moses took them out of Egypt, they had been complaining that God wants to kill them in the wilderness. They didn't really trust God. And now when they reached to the promised land, they sent out 12 spies to spy the land. And they came back with a report. And the report was that the land was good, but that the people of that land were giants. And so two of the spies trusted God and 10 were unbelieving. And they gave an evil report. They said that even though the land is good, they will not be able to take it. And it struck me when I read this, you know, um, sometimes many of us attempted also when God is taking us somewhere on a journey, when God is leading us somewhere to a place where he wants us to be in our lives, we tend to complain. May God help us not to be like those Israelites, but to trust God. Hallelujah. To trust God through it all, knowing that God is good and he has a good plan for our lives and just trusting him that he will work it out even when we don't see how. But what really struck me this time, uh, we've all read this story many times, I guess, and I have. And for the first time, I noticed also that even when they saw the land, even when they saw the land, they still refused to trust God. They saw that the land is good, but they determined in, them, in themselves that they cannot take this land. So even after, you know, because when they were journeying through the wilderness, um, they they knew, they, they should have known God was taking them somewhere because Moses was leading them to their promised land that God had promised them. But even when they saw the land with their eyes, even then they saw the land, they were there, they were standing right at the border of it, ready to take it, to go in and to take it. They saw that land and they still refused. They said, it's a good land, but we cannot take it. So even at that point when they saw the land. So I wonder how many of us, may God forbid that it may never be us in that position where we will see the land, the thing, that, that vision, that purpose, the thing that God is calling us for. And we will say, well, it's wonderful, but it's too big for me. God forbid that we should be that way, but that we may trust the Lord. Obviously, you know, we will need to defeat some giants, but it's not us. We cannot defeat it. But if God be for us, who can be against us? The Bible says God will defeat the giants we need to defeat. And moreover, you know, everything that God has called us to do is impossible. If God has really called you to do something, if God has really given you a God-given vision for your life, it is impossible to do it on your own. Why? Exactly so that we may trust Him. He wants to do it in us and through us and in our lives and through our lives. It's not us doing it by our own strength. Yes, on our own we cannot fight those giants. David on his own could never defeat Goliath, but he defeated him by trusting God. We cannot fight the giants on our own, but God wants to use us to defeat those giants. He wants to defeat those giants. And so everything God has called you to do is impossible. The vision God has given you is impossible. It is impossible with men. But what is impossible with men is possible with God. So trust Him. It is not impossible with God. It is not impossible with God. He has called you, He has given you that vision, and He will do it. What we have to do is trust Him, trust Him, trust Him, trust and obey. God is a good God, and He's leading you to a good land. He will do it in our lives. Our part is to believe Him, trust Him, and to obey Him, to follow Him step by step. God bless you all. I hope this message encourages you, and I pray that God will strengthen you, will open your eyes to see that vision that He is giving you, and will help you, help you by His Word and by His Spirit to follow Him into your promised land, 